as you set out to follow Christ and his command to make disciples, you want to consider who are the people on the mission field of your life. You've got several different categories of relationships. You have your friends, uh, your people, your neighbors. You've got your family members. Uh, that would be considered your, your oikos. Who are the people that are, that are in your life right now? Um, that, that you're close with, that you hang out with, uh, that would be your friends on Facebook that you actually uh, are encountering. Uh, then you've got another group of people called like acquaintances, people that you maybe know, a friend of a friend. And then there's the fourth category of, of strangers. Um, a lot of times when people are out sharing the gospel, they either stick to just strangers. Uh, they think of going out and knocking on doors and find, you know, in, engaging with people they don't know. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But we see examples in the scriptures uh, where people come to faith in Christ and they immediately take the gospel to people that they know, their friends, their family, that's their oikos. You look in John 4 and you see the, the Samaritan woman at the well and, and she responds to the gospel. She leaves her jar, she runs to the town and it says that she tells the people, come see a man who told me all I ever did. Could this be the Christ? And it says that many in that town believe because of the woman's testimony. And many believe because of Jesus' words. And, and you have both if you're in Christ. And, and so she took the gospel to the people that she, she knew, her oikos, this town, and, and many people believed. We see other examples in Acts 16 where Lydia uh, took the gospel to her household or the Philippian jailer. Uh, so we see plenty of examples in scripture. Uh, that's the story in, in our family. Uh, there was a man who, who shared the gospel with a neighbor of his that happened to be a relative. And God used her to take the the gospel to, to, to the rest of my family. We got four generations of believers because this one man shared the gospel with his neighbor and then that passed down from family to four different generations. And now we've got pastors and missionaries uh, all over the country and even around the world because the gospel spread through our family, our oikos.